Hello, guys, ladies and gentlemen, for Monday the 23rd, I always look at that on the screen there, but uh, uh, I always second guess it, but no, that's the 23rd. Uh, welcome to a live Q&A, coming to you live from Mancoon, otherwise known as Manchester. Okay, so who am I? Heath Gascoigne. Um, sorry for the late change too, by the way, guys. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be back to 12 o'clock. Uh, so I got them to change the time. Um, well, the client likes to call the 12 o'clock meeting, which is like lunchtime for normal people anyway. So here am I, author of this book. Uh, you guys know it. I am a business architect. So that means someone who uh, <laughs> doesn't mean that someone has mean it. Uh, not just a person who wrote this book, you know, who wrote about it, talks about it um, and writes about it but uh, uh, someone who actually does business transformation there for 20 years. Um, and uh, yeah, the clients, huge clients, as well as startups, um, both in this country, oh, excuse me, and overseas. Here's my coffee. Um, yes, I get called into set up some of the trans uh, largest transformations in the UK, at least if they're not the world, one of the size of the budgets. Um, and also the stakeholders and the members of a number of uh, members on the program in the couple of hundred. And yes, the author of that book there. Okay, so what do we do on these calls? These calls get access to me twice a week live, uh, Mondays at 12 p.m., which is right now, GMT, and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Okay, um, you know how to book a call. You book a call there or, or register for the calls. Excuse me, sorry if I'm yawning, making a yawn at. Um, whatever time you're watching this, um, or even if you're you know, on the chat there, sorry. Um, so yeah, at hobit.tech forward slash QA hyphen calls. If you're on the plat a portal now, you know you can go in the high up menu, second item, uh, QA calls. And you'll see the main page will show all the current calls coming up for the month. And then the, on the left-hand side is um, uh, the, the past calls and the, all the recorded ones there. So for this one here, as it is now, if you miss out, don't worry. If you're not, you miss it. Uh, just double check. Oh, you know why? Uh, um. <laughs> so yes um uh da, 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 the um uh yeah so all these are recorded so give it a couple of actually the next morning's the best time um in the morning and so yeah if you miss them don't worry about it you, you'll see it tomorrow um you know the email comes out sorry for this one um because of the late change, you got an email would have gone out just before this one was due to start. So this is a bit rare. Sorry about that. But yeah, okay. So how to get help from coaches? Yeah, so the coaches do run full-time business. And I keep pointing over here as if I'm in the client. I'm not on the client site um, today. I am on Wednesday, sometimes all week actually. Um, but uh, not this week. So I'm working here in the other office. Um, so what does that mean in terms of support? It means please don't request one-on-one -on -one help. This is what this is for. Come on here. Come on the Facebook group. This is must take myself on the chiller. Um, and uh, otherwise, you have the 24-hour access here to the knowledge base. Um, you know that in the search function. Ah. Groovy. Well, you know what that is. It's because uh, burning the candle of both ends. But there's a good reason for it. Because you know that the um, Hybrid Pro is coming out very, very soon. And uh, I'm you know, working with the developers, our team there, and my God, they're doing a great job. You'll be very impressed, very impressed. Um, okay, so yeah, so there's that we, you talk about in terms of transformation, you talk to your SRO and go, what's keeping me up at light? <laughs> well, that was, okay. So um, house rules, what are we talking about here? Training, what are we not talking about? Customer support, what do we do for that? Shoot an email to support at hobo.tech. And we have a lot of people on this call. So what does it mean? It means that it's first in, first dressed, and you put it in that format, your query in that format, current situation, desired, to, desired situation, and your question, which is usually 
current state, future state, and then how to get between the two. Yeah, transformation. Okay, so, and what have we been going over lately? I've been harping on the point. Ah, I, I, I don't know if we talked about it last last call. Um, actually, I, I we only had time for one of the questions last week. I'm not sure if we got onto the other one. Um, but chat GTP has is, is come up a few times and about is it the next best thing for our transformation? Um, you know, uh, and there's a blog post that uh, I just, um, we published it, I wrote it and published it when? Uh, last week, yeah, last week. Um, yeah, chat GTP. <laughs> Is, um, is it the be all and end all for business transformation or transformation? What is it? We know what we're changing to the transformation, right? People process technology and data. Yeah. Yeah. So, and what is that? It's a, it's a uh, technology that's a technology element. Yeah. It makes it go, something go faster, you'd hope. Um, now, so in terms of transformation, we're changing four elements or four, our four levers. And uh, Chat GTP is a tool that helps you write content or copy. Yeah. Um, and at the moment, it is by typing, typing in questions um, as opposed to speaking and it's um, listening to narrating and it, it picks it up. Probably we'll do a version of that later. Um, but where would it help in terms of transformation? Well, it's a, you know, how long is a piece of string? And what do we do when we do our uh, uh, transformation? If we follow the design process and step three, uh, analyze, analyzing in terms of the five W1H, the what, what are the problem opportunities? The organization is trying to address today and in the future and uh, what do we do in terms of trying to understand that current state is we have our analysis design pyramid we're starting at the foundations or this way here the, the mirror mirrored screen the um foundation organization going at the right hand side left hand side of the uh the analysis design pyramid organization mapping first put our arms around who's in scope stakeholder mapping that's a stakeholders within the organization the user journey mapping what is the journey of that user through the organization what's their touch points as in the channels the good points pain points and improvement opportunities and then what's the process that supports those onto the process model and understanding all the processes the end-to-end -end process model level one two three and four and you map those level fours now in terms of chat gtp those changes that chat gtp may be involved in is a technology element if in the process yeah so the question is will it help will what impact does it have on its on your transformation well by first understanding your current organization the current processes map them onto your capabilities then have that cross organization conversation with the rest of the, your organization program or organization or both ideally then you understand you know what capability they're touching if it's um, and, and see what the change is. I'm not going to say straight away and say, yeah, chat GDP is this. No, this is, um, if you read that the blog post, you, you guys will know really well by now, uh, the uh, the Gartner hype curve, you know, it goes, have I got my, uh, yeah, this way. The Gartner hype curve, everything uh, peaks and it comes off to a trough. And so where does it, the <laughs> peak end up at? just above where it just started just like big data data lake and data room and that that you know it goes on and on and on and where are they now same place they were when when the hype started at the very beginning the same after the hype and it drops down same thing you know so who's pushing this this is the technologists we know how it works you know there's um you know the what we try to do when we give the design process is a process to uh, the transformation for a reason because it stops going into step five design straight away into solution mode. When you go straight into solution mode, what are you most times trying to solve? You're trying to address the symptoms of problems, not the cause of the problems. Yeah. And remember, I told you in, in the lesson around the process mapping and modeling, uh, level week number three, level four, level lessons four about ministry justice how this sro wanted to start it um, um uh, doing design and i said you want me to do exactly the same way the last two guys had done this and he said yes i said so you want me to start this well first understanding the vision you know what does the future look like getting us all on the same page what it did do and it almost straight away and after doing 18 months of that project and losing millions of dollars and not to mention the time um 
there was the, the, the step two control. There's no, the governance wasn't in place. They, the, the boards weren't representing, the members on the boards weren't representing the people in the business. No, no concept of design principles. They had projects managers there, project manager and program manager and program director. They had their raids there, but they're missing, missing things. Then the current state operator, and this is where the sponsor said, hey, there's 53 different sites around the country. They do it 53 different ways. And I said, great, just give me one. And with that one there is going to be the benchmark. And for some, it's going to be aspirational. And for some, it's going to be the average operating procedures. But for, for some, it's going to be, this is the power that you want to be operating at, the best practice. And that would be the baseline for the baseline we're built from. And he could see, oh, that's making sense here. That's logical. Yeah, it's not, you know, we're not going to try and um, uh, boil the ocean or do processing mapping for process mapping or blueprint for blueprint sake or documentation for document sake, as I say. You know, just enough to understand and get consensus of what the problems and opportunities are so that we can get a baseline so we can build from. I said, I've already sat in their um, workshops you're having with your suppliers that you've already onboarded and doing requirements with, but your team, there's 20 different guys in the in the room there with, the, with your um, vendor, and they can't agree on the problem. They're arguing amongst themselves. You're confusing the, the developers, your vendors that you brought in here. So they don't understand the problem they're trying to solve. And so, you know, this is why if you start at design, you're going to miss all that. And so you get got to get clarity of where the future is, clarity about the control functions you've got in place, what understanding your clear baseline, organization mapping, stakeholders that were involved, their needs and concerns and measures of success, their user journey, touch points, pain points, improvement opportunities, onto the processes that carry out, uh, you know, managing the identifying the, the priorities and changes within those processes there that are changes agreed within that are changes within the scope agreed to by the design principles that are signed off by your board that you agreed as in the who the who the people in the organization that that are represented inside those boards so that is why so when you get to step five design and if you get there if you start saying right now chat gtp if that's gtp is is going to be the be all and end all to your solutions like well wait a minute let's understand the current state first or current state first and then what does the future look like? Making those changes, the changes agreed by your um, uh, design principles that are signed off by your um, boards that when implemented, allow the business to realize its strategic objectives and achieve its vision. Yeah? The only, the, only at that point there, once you've understood uh, what the 2B version looks like, and if one of those solution options is ChatGP there, that's where ChatGP comes in. But you can't say right now you're chat GGP just like any technology like data lake and data room and big data. And like, you know, that's technologists again getting excited, playing for new toys. So don't believe the hype. Um, you know, understand there's a process for a reason because it, you get away from solution mode and getting caught up in the hype. You know, it's based on we're building. Uh, transformation based on an understanding of the current state today, what the future would look like, and we need the changes that we that allow the business to real enable the business to realize the business benefits that are agreed to in the business benefits model and step four evaluate. Yeah, so that's all that you know. So let's not get caught up in the hype. Then the, the technologists is um, you know they love it. Um, that's their job, right? They, they get all excited about that. Okay, guys. So. I'm sorry, we're running a bit behind time, so I'm going to keep this one short. But, you know, ChatGP, just like any solution or any hype, ChatGP is probably the first. It's not the first one, um, yeah, but the one that's got a lot of hype behind it because Microsoft are backing it and throwing a lot of money into it. But you'll probably find out, like, a lot of these new technologies and a lot of hype behind it is that someone is going to, you know, there's some... Uh, VCs probably behind it that are pumping money into it. They want to get an exit. Yeah, they want to get their 10 x return on their their investment. And this is why it's hyped. They've only got one product. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, what other companies do you know have just got one product? You know. Um, yeah. So let's let's understand first in terms of transformation. There's a process to it. it Take six steps. Where does it, the technology come in? It's one of our levers, and we understand where that lever will be pulled within the process. And the, the, the two B processes that address concerns and tensions via design principles that alleviate pain points identified in our um, current operating model, 
Yeah. Okay. So let's not get caught up in the hype. Let's just go through the process. You know, the challenge, as I said, in um, Welcome Week, talking about HOBRA and design process, you know, you'll get stakeholders that want to talk about the needs and concerns that are, you know, dearest and nearest to them, that are, you know, what's in it for them. They're, you know, they're going to say, oh, what does future? And then you have that conversation, but you warn them or you caution them and say, okay, we can have that now, but you do understand there's a process here. And what you're talking about is step five design. And then, so we can have that conversation, but we haven't had these other ones. And if we don't have these other ones, we might end up solving the wrong problem or just a problem for a couple of people or a problem to the people that are just happen to be the loudest right now, or we're not solving the root cause of these problems. Yeah. And we might not then select the right solution. And then there's time, cost and money, time, cost and, and an opportunity rather that get wasted. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's it. Um, keep it nice and short. We'll keep, we'll see on Thursday at 7 p.m. And that one will be right on top. All right. Keep it nice and short. Enjoy your week. Uh, have a good one. Okay. Catch it. Bye.